Hey everybody, this is Rick. We're going to be doing a review of the High Grade Zagok from Unicorn, uh, Episode 4. So, um, the main reason I picked up this kit is because I love Xeon suits. Big fan of the mono I designed. And um, after watching it in Unicorn, you know, I fell in love with it. Watching it destroy all those suits. So I've had this thing sitting on my backlog. I've been working on a few projects. And I just decided I want to build something simple and easy and uh, kind of take a break from what I've been doing lately. So um, there we have the, the Zagok. So um, first thing I guess we can go ahead and talk about is the actual kit, the colors of the kit. It is, uh, you know, it comes in that red. There is a lot of color separation on the kit. As you can see here, the gray, the reds, um, the light gray. This is actually a lighter gray and then a darker gray. I'm not really sure if you can tell in the uh, in the camera, but you know everything is molded really nicely. A lot of detail. I'll flip this guy around, and then you can see more of the color separation in the back. Um, now, of course, you know if you want to make this accurate. There is the, as you can see in the picture back there in, in the instruction manual, all the thrusters should be colored like a yellow color. And, you know, I, I haven't done any lining on this kit, so I'm sure that would help a lot. The other thing, too, is um, this is the sticker sheet that actually comes with the Zagok, which is these white stripes for the arms, and then these for the uh, Stormfast. And to be 100% honest with you, I'm not really sure where these are. I, I didn't have any intentions of putting these on because I'm hoping to paint this. Um, so that's why I didn't put that. I try to build this as clean as possible. Now, um, the, the build itself, easy, straightforward, no issues. Um, it, was, it was really simple, nothing too difficult. Um, I actually did have a lot of fun with it. It's a pretty solid and steady kit. The only issues I've experienced with it is uh, I've had a couple parts break on me, and I've also had the have some issues with the arms with posing. Now I'll go ahead and show you what I mean. So when you bring the arms down, out, and around like that, what tends to happen, and you know, of course, it's not going to happen right now. But it's going to want to separate from the shoulder. And it's going to also want to separate from the elbow. And that's because it is just strictly on ball joints. This is going to tend to happen when you're trying to pose the kit and try to get it in different, you know, uh, positions. Also, if you don't line these up properly when you're trying to pose it, it'll come off a lot easier. Other than that, you know, it's a really good kit. And the parts that I had break on me was this piece because it's just a little tiny peg and I actually broke it trying to pull these out. It just snapped and also on the sword. Um, the hilt is like a dark gray. And on the other side, it's just like another piece with a little peg that snaps in and that actually uh, snapped when I was trying to take it off and put the clear one on. I actually lost the... Uh, the dark gray one that comes with it. Um, I think my daughter took it, to be honest with you. Probably one of her Barbies is using it or something. Um, but back to the kit. So the accessories you're going to get is these boomerangs that come on the top of the head. And you're going to get 10 of those. They each, All of them all do come out. Um, you're going to get two closed fists, which I have on now. You're going to get the two strong fast, which do detach and can be placed in the open hand. You're going to get the hand, the open hand, which, whoops, which can hold the sword. And you're also going to get these two extenders which they show you know where it's it can shoot it's it's uh, like it's punch out 
and you're also going to get a right hand that's open or you can put a uh, strong fast in so easy enough I'm just going to pull that out the hand that joint you can go ahead and put that in and slide that back and then there you get that effect that it's it's punchy like I said it's it's a solid kit I enjoyed the build now no bad nubs on it there is some on the darker parts like on the waist which I'm not sure if you can tell and on the legs I try to clear those up as best as I could um, the kit does get into a lot of the poses that you'll see on on the actual box art um, that you see in the anime see and there goes the arm and you know to also mount the sword you're gonna need this piece which goes into the arm and voila <laughs> but like I said he he gets into most of the poses that you want him to with no issues um, it just takes a second or two you know to get the, the posing right but it, it's a solid kit it's worth the pickup um, I think I picked him up for about $15 at my local hobby shop. Um, so yeah, that that's the review of the high grade Zagok. Um, please leave feedback, leave comments. I am trying to improve my channel. Um, tell me what you what you like, what you don't like. Any kind of bit of advice is useful. Thank you very much. See you next time.